Hello YouTube, it's Mindbender here, and hey look, snakes! i built snakes before, I built one quite a while back named Pythra, but... You know what? He's outdated. If you go back to that video, his snake mode is quite messy and... Uses a bunch of techniques I would not use anymore because they are far too fragile. So, I decided it's time for a new snake build, and I enjoyed it so much, I built it two more times. These are my Viper Troopers. They serve as kind of like, uh, basically expendable foot soldiers for my Decepticon army. Now, before I get too far into this video, I do want to point out that the Viper Trooper build is up for sale on mockup.com, so... If you uh, like this video, if you like what you see and you decide maybe you want one for yourself, just click the link in the description and the pinned comment, and uh, we'll take you to mockhub.com. You can purchase one of these completely, uh, not completely free, I mean you do have to purchase it, but mockhub will ship it out to you uh, pretty much regardless of where you are in the world. I forgot to mention that in my last video, but mockhub does ship to pretty much anywhere, so uh, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, no need to worry about any of that, they'll get it to you. Alright, let's get into the video. So we'll get two of these out of the way and just look at the one. You see he is quite reared up. I was quite happy that there is a uh, good bit of articulation in these. Unlike my previous snake design, this one does not require a kickstand to stand up. He can just do it under his own power. And getting him back down into a more snake-like position, I also want to point out that he is entirely two studs wide. He stays that way throughout his entire build. My last snake kind of seemed to change size as he went along, but not the case here. I also included a ball joint right in the middle so he can do some kind of uh, slither turning. You know, he's really more designed to go up and down, but there is a little bit of turn in there, and I enjoy that. Overall, I'm just very happy with the snake mode in general. So, without further ado, let's transform him. To transform the Viper Trooper, it's actually very, very simple, much simpler than Pythra was. We'll start down here and just split the back of the snake tail. These will become legs. We just kind of have to twist them into a leg shape, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll come up to the top, which folds down and sticks quite a bit out until we split the snake head and rotate it around to form robot arms. And we can already see the robot face, which has just been revealed. And just like that, like I said, very plain and simple, our Viper has become a Viper Trooper. So like I said, this design was intended to be basically an army builder. It doesn't use a ton of pieces, and it's a pretty straightforward design, so it was quite simple for me to just repeat it two more times and end up with a whole squad of them. I really like how they look though, especially their heads. You know, they're kind of unorthodox. And actually the reason I ended up putting, I'm just gonna look at one. The head was actually the reason I put in that mid uh, body ball joint because in robot mode, it kind of serves to be a stand in for a neck joint since the actual head doesn't really move, but the body, the upper body can kind of look around still. So he's not, uh, he's not unposable despite the lack of a proper neck. He also has very, very weird, lanky limbs, which originally I thought I wasn't a huge fan of, but then I was like, you know, he does come from a snake, and despite having a humanoid robot mode, he should still retain some snake aesthetic to him. So I was actually kind of came around on the weird, bendy limbs, you know? I really like the long, lanky, inhuman nature of his body. For weapons, again, just being simple ground troops, they just get a rifle. But what makes me very happy is because of the really long, lanky arms, we can stick the rifle in one hand, and we can just kind of twist it around and get him into that, like, two-handed weapon pose that so few characters, especially LEGO characters, are able to pull off. I feel like this is a real treat that they can do this. It just helps them look more Stormtrooper-y. I'm very happy with it. Alright guys, until next time, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of these guys. Like I said, if you want to buy your very own Viper Trooper and build your own Beast Wars styled army, just click the link in the description or the pinned comment and head over to uh, mockhub.com and you can buy your own. I've been Mindbender and I'll talk to you later.